Lagos, Akwaibom, Oyo, Rivers, Kanu, Plateau and the FCT are cases of concern as the third wave of COVID-19 pandemic rages in Nigeria. Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Committee, Mr. Boss Mustafa, speaks on the third wave and Delta variant. Uh, it is no more news uh, that the Delta variant has made its way into Nigeria. The Presidential Steering Committee is particularly concerned about the situation in Lagos, Akwaibom, Oyo, Rivers, and Plateau states, along with the Federal Capital Territory. As this variant has made its way into these states and accounts for the rising cases in these states and across the nation, Lagos alone accounts for over 50% of the number of cases. Uh, the DG, Nigerian Center for Disease Control, will elaborate on this development. This development calls for great caution because the virus is very virulent and uh, raging in so many other countries of the world. We must therefore keep observing the non-pharmaceutical interventions and also ensure that we get vaccinated when the vaccines are made available very soon. Vaccination prevents severe cases and reduces hospital hospitalization and death, but does not eliminate contacting the virus. Hence, the need to religiously observe the non-pharmaceutical interventions. Mustafa had this to say on travelers evading travel protocol and quarantine. The Presidential Steering Committee is ready to publish over 500 travelers who violated the travel protocol and those who evaded quarantine even this week. Similarly, those who had their passports bad for six months because of disregard for either quarantine or travel protocols now, at the end of the expiration of the six months, the Controller General of Immigration Services will be lifting the restriction on their travel documents in the next coming days. The CG Immigration has also been directed to lift all suspensions and to activate the new sanctions that we are going to put in place on these over 500 travelers who have breached one form of protocol or the other. Travelers who did not go for their day seven test will have restriction placed on their international passports for the next six months, while those who evaded quarantine will similarly have restrictions on their international passports for the next one year. I also want to announce that the National International Travel Protocol is being reviewed to better enhance a hitch-free experience for travelers. This review will be completed in the next two weeks. As a follow-up, the Akanu EBM International Airport Inugu is ready for reopening. A date will be announced in due course after a few logistic issues are cleared. The Presidential Steering Committee has also reviewed the travel protocols for diplomatic travelers. He also spoke on vaccines donated by the United States of America to Nigeria. Today, we are privileged to have Deputy Head of Mission and other members of the American Embassy who are graciously donating over 4 billion doses of Moderna vaccines to Nigeria. We thank the government and the people of the United States for this gift, and we promise that it will be utilized judiciously